we can now make a plot and see what those data look like. So it does appear that there is a relationship. It's not a very tight pattern, but it does look like there is a pattern. To carry out a linear regression in R, it's quite simple. We use the LM function to create a linear model with both an X and a Y that are numbers. Then we can use the summary command to display the a summary of the characteristics of the model that we have created. The linear model function, or LM, will create a model of the best fit line through those data. If we want to see the slope and intercept, we can simply ask R to print the model and it will show us the two coefficients. So the one coefficient is the intercept, which makes sense. It's at about 77. And the slope is negative. As we noted, it goes down negative 0.27. The designation of the slope is a bit odd. It's not just called slope. It's actually named by the value of x on the graph. And the reason for this is because we can have multiple linear regressions where there are multiple x factors, and each one of them has a slope. So in order to distinguish between the different slopes, we provide the name that we've given to that x value. That's something that takes a bit of getting used to. We can also apply the function AB line that will draw the best fit line through our data. And then if we ask for a summary of the model, we get much more extensive information about the best fit line. The information that we get from this summary is a bit busy and it contains quite a bit of information that we might not actually be interested in. The key items are the slope and the intercept, which we saw individually. And these are listed as intercept. And then, as I said, the slope is the name of the x value, which in this particular analysis was number of species. So n species is the x. That's where we see the slope listed as the that x coefficient right there. The other two things that we are going to be interested in in the future is the r squared, which we find here, and also the p-value, which is found two places, both here as a statistic of the slope coefficient, but also as this p-value for the uh, basically ANOVA that it performs on the values. That value for P will be the same, so it doesn't really matter which one we look at. There are also a lot of other things on here um, that we could become interested in if we looked at the details, but at the level we're approaching this right now, we don't care that much about the other values on this summary.